Okay, I've man managed to finish out my VQ35DE harness. I got it all wrapped up and sorted out, labeled, and down to just technically four wire connections. All I got is the ground. Battery constant. Ignition. And tachometer output. And what I did was cleaned out all the unnecessary stuff like EVAP. Uh, well, power steering, which it does need the power steering pressure sensor. Didn't really bother trying to get a resistor in there just to so, so it can see the sensor itself. So I just went ahead and installed the sensor. Um, but I left it back here where it's out of the engine bay. The refrigerant pressure sensor and all the alternator and all the stuff that's not going to be used on this chassis. It's just pretty much standalone and engine management with the factory ECU. Everything from the injectors, coils, uh, wideband O2 sensors or air fuel sensors. Um, the crank position sensors and uh, the, int the intake valve timing solenoids and all the transmission related stuff the reverse neutral position switch uh, and the heated O2 sensors the downstream sensors and the crank shaft position sensor it's all all labeled individually as you can see coolant temperature sensors just everything's abbreviated ignition that's cylinder five Let's see cylinder three and cylinder one and timing cover ground Everything's set up and ready to go. Pretty straightforward stuff. And of course, everything just ties right into the ECU harness plug. And I had the ECU nets removed and tuned by Z1. And everything's just direct wire and that's all you need is just a harness accelerated pedal the WD2 plug and of course ignition relay and fuses for all the individual sensor power supply whether it be the heated oxygen sensors the ignition coils the all the other sensors the crankshaft position sensors and the intake valve solenoid and the battery constant and ecu power supply is all right there so that le just leaves, like I said, it leaves you four wires to hook up. And that's about it.